All right, it seems like the Detroit Pistons found another trade partner or potential trade partner that may be interested in Andre Drummond. That is the New York Knicks. And the Pistons have interest of rumored or reportedly in two Knicks in particular. Let's talk a little bit about it. We back. Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. Now, you know, according to Clutch Points and also NBC Sports, the Pistons have been talking to the New York Knicks. Now, it's a few Knicks that I like in particular. Mitchell Robinson um, is one of the young guys that I, I would like to get back. Um, I think they hold him to high regards. They got a young guy in Kevin Knox. I like a lot. They seem not to be playing. Dennis Smith Jr. Um, they got some young potential players with potential that they just not playing. They head coach is Mike Miller, not the uh, old Florida uh, University Miami Heat Mike Miller. Um, another Mike Miller. He's uh, that Mike Miller. They play in the league. You remember played against Michigan State. I think the year Michigan State made the Final Four back in the day. He is um, he is with the Memphis uh, University of Memphis with Penny Hardaway. For those who really care. But according to Clutch Points, is that the Pistons really like Julius Randle and Frank, uh, I can't pronounce his name, man's name, Akina, you know, the French guy. I think he's French. Real long guard, uh, two guard. And Mike Valenti said earlier this year that the Pistons, it was rumored that they did have um, interest in the Frank guy, the guard over there. And he he said he heard from a source in that organization that that kid was hopeless. Now, it's a lot of guys over there with the Knicks that look hopeless if you put them in a better situation where they get consistent PT, that they won't be hopeless. The Knicks have a lot of young guys that I like that I wouldn't even I wouldn't even need a draft pick for. I think that's a great trade uh, partner for Andre Drummond. You know what I'm saying? But for Drummond, would that be the ideal situation? No, with the Knicks, you won't be fighting for a playoff spot. But they interested in the Frank guard. Uh, he only been in the league a couple years, real long, and they interested in Julius Randle. Now, Julius Randle... Just signed a contract for the next, I think, four years, three years after this year with the Knicks. But it's under $20 million, so that's a respectable salary amount. Now, the Frank kid, he probably make, you know, around $2 million a year. So they still got to make some money up in there. So, uh, like I said before, if I'm the Pistons and I'm tra talking to the Knicks, the guys that I like, I want to get Kevin Knox. They don't, don't seem to be interested in the Kentucky Wildcat because he's not playing. You know what I'm saying? When you a bad team... All your young guys should be playing. You know what I'm saying? The veterans, you keep you run, you keep them happy, you keep them there. The Knicks is just a, a dumpster fire. You know, it's no reason why Dennis Smith Jr. shouldn't be playing. It's no reason why uh, 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 Frank shouldn't be getting a lot of minutes, or Kevin Knox shouldn't be getting a lot of minutes, or Mitchell Robinson should be sharing minutes with Bobby Portis. A lot of them dudes should be playing. Taj Gibson should be on the contender. He bring a lot to the table. He shouldn't be getting more minutes. Than some of them young guys. The Knicks just don't have no direction. When you talk about the Martha Ford, uh, the Knicks owner, he is the equivalent of the Detroit Lions ownership in the NBA. They are two of the worst owners in sports. All right. And that's a, that's a, for real. Football is better. I mean, basketball is better when the Knicks are good, but they're not going to be good under that owner, man. And, you know, that is what it is, and everybody know the story of him kicking Oakley out and all that. But, yeah, you know, Julius Randle, I mean, you already got a Julius Randle type in Blake Griffin. So, I don't know why they're interested in Julius Randle. Is it because his salary matches up or whatever the situation may be? But, quite frankly, I'm not interested in Julius Randle, baby uh, Odom on steroids. All right, he he nice. Um, He, been, he had a, a leave of absence or he hadn't been playing whatever reason it was, so maybe they shopping him, maybe his personality not right, but he a good player, but, I mean, Blake Griffin is already like Julius Randle, you know what I'm saying, they basically the same player, Blake just better when he healthy, so basically you going out there with two small four slash power fours with, with Julius Randle, I don't understand why they would take on Julius Randle contract, you know, and Julius, I don't, I don't get why they would be interested in Julius, but it's just a report, but the guys that I'm interested in over there, Dennis Smith Jr., Kevin Knox, Mitchell Robinson is the three guys I'm interested in over. They can keep R.J. Barrett. He ain't that good to me. You know what I'm saying? He was overrated at Duke. This year, he been a little bit up and down. But the way they was raving about him coming into Duke, he was supposed to be the rookie of the year, not John Morant right now. You know what I'm saying? I like Kobe White better than him. If Kobe White got consistent playing time. But, you know, for the Pistons, I think that's a great trade partner, man. 
they got a lot of young talent that's over there riding due to a lack of organization in their organization. You know, functionable <laughs> coaches and stuff of that nature. Them young guys should be playing. You tanking. You bad. Play your young guys, but like I said before, Drummond is more likely not to re-up with the Knicks unless he end up loving the city of New York and that organization uh, can make him believe or they pay him money where nobody else pay him money at or make him believe they could be a winner. Now, if the Knicks is the only team that offered Drummond a Supermax contract next summer, then he going to stay with the Knicks. You know, but for Andre Drummond, you know, don't you want to be on a championship type of team or a team that's trending in the right direction? You don't want to go from the Pistons to the basement and the Knicks. But once again, New York City is a special type of city. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I love going to New York. And Andre Drummond probably loved playing in New York. But that's why Przingis got out of there because they had no direction. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to develop their young stars. You know, they, they, I, they seem not to, you know, be a sexy free agent destination because of their owner. So at the end of the day, if I'm Andre Drummond, you know, if, they are, they, if, if my primary motive is to get the money, the Knicks are going to pay you your money. No doubt about it. But ain't no point for the Knicks to keep Mitchell Robinson. So they might as well throw Mitchell Robinson in there. They're not using Dennis Smith Jr. They're not using Kevin Knox. And I'm telling you, man, them three dudes got star potential. You know, if Dennis Smith Jr. Could, he can stay healthy, Kevin Knox, yeah, they can give him some some, 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 some confidence. And you could put him with like Sayoko, you know, and, 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 and Civi. I mean, you're going to have a nice little core right there. A competitive core at some point. You know, I like I like that young core. You know, Dwayne Casey really the development wizard that you know people believe he is with DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry. He can develop Kevin Knox, he can develop Sayoko, he can develop Dennis Smith Jr., and he can develop Mitchell Robinson. Mitchell Robinson, the perfect guy to plug in the middle there. He like a young Andre Drummond. You know, defensive guy, rebound, he gonna get better. So, you know, the Knicks loss can be our gain and, and hopefully our, our loss can be their gain. And they say, but Julius Randle probably got to be in that trade due to his contract. So think about Julius Randle is that maybe if they get, they believe they get Julius Randle, that they're going to try to move on from Blake Griffin. That's the only thing I could think because, or they don't believe Blake Griffin going to be healthy for a long time. And as something, when Blake Griffin do get healthy, I believe they probably going to try to move him up out of here. But Julius Randle, you know, if you get somebody that can tame him, and stop making him think he a point guard and he Lamar Odom with the handles. He can just play his game from the box and he can stretch it out a little bit and you get him play from the high post and, and stuff of that nature. If you can harness Julius Randle, he got all-star potential, but he's just so wild. It's like a wild Pokemon. Dwayne Casey going to throw a Pokeball at his head and, 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 and kind of, you know, get him in the Pokeball and train him. But Frank Kalina, whatever his name, I'm not, I'm not interested in him and his potential. Hey, give me Dennis Smith Jr., you know, give me Kevin Knox. Give me Mitchell Robinson. Give me those. They ain't using them. And if the Pistons do bring Frank Hyena in, man, uh, and he, I, I don't see the talent. I see the defensive talent. But if you want Frank over Dennis Smith Jr., it must be some things going behind closed doors with Dennis Smith Jr. and Kevin Knox. Them the two I want, and Mitchell Robinson, bad. Them three I want bad. I would even throw Luke Kennard in there to get some, to get them dudes. Them the three that I want really, really bad because I think in a better situation, they can flourish, especially Kevin Knox. Kevin Knox got game. New York messed him up. Dennis Smith Jr. got game. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, we'll see what happens with the situation uh, with Drummond. You know, the Knicks, they could just they in preliminary talks, it sound like. But they, they say they're initiating trade talks. So maybe as soon as you 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 wake up one morning or you don't think about it, you're going to get a din 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 or a Bleacher Report uh, uh, sign that Dre been traded. Could be to the Knicks. It could be to a team we're not thinking of. Obviously, the Atlanta Hawks don't have nothing that we want that they're willing to give up. Boston, I don't know what they're thinking. Toronto, don't know what they're thinking. Dallas, they really ain't got much unless you're going to get uh, future picks. So we'll see what happens. But I'll link some articles in the description proving it to be true. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, the information is in the description. Like I said, man, always check the description. Always link my sources there for people that cry fake news. But y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time, Motor City Sports Talk. 
Check them out on the channel, Wild Goodfellas Sports TV as well for more sports, music, news, and entertainment. We gone.